how's it going folks? I'm Scott Dragon, and welcome back to another brand new episode of The Infected. And yeah, I did leave you with a lot of ghosts. If you just look at that window, you can still see ghosts there. I think you're all done. But we did make some changes. I wasn't happy. So we built basically this as basically our, our main wee hub. Or basically where our bed is. I might actually, I think I've seen interior walls and stuff, so I might actually take a wee section, maybe try and squeeze my bed into a one by one, put a door in it or something. Uh, I don't know, I'll have a look. Or maybe even a wee extension off the back or something. I'll convert that into a bedroom. At the moment, my bed's nice and safe in here. Right, we have done some pathways. Well, as much as I could do, we chopping down trees. Oh, there's a seal. Quick, not that one. The one over there. Is it going to disappear, mate? Is it? No. Yeah, go on. Yay. Um, yeah. So yeah, we made a wee like shack hut thing. Um, it might not be too impressive at the moment, but my standards is pretty good. Um, no, I had laid out for a hexagonal base and I actually, <laughs> it was actually a friend of mine turned around and goes, can you only build in hexagons? I said, no, I just like them. So, basically, he highlighted some <laughs> that 99% of my builds are all done in hexagons. So... Because that will change it. We use some of these these wee edging walls and stuff like that, and see how they look. Um, if any of you see seen any of my arc stuff, I tend to build like hexagons and circleish sort of bases. So <laughs> that's what they were on about. So yeah, so we changed it up a bit. Um, so that gives us actually a roof over our heads where it's dry and stuff like that. We're still topped up all the wood again. Um, I'm going to leave this as a ghost to now. That's a ghost path to now. Until I figure out where I'm going to do cut-offs and other paths and things like that. Right, so if we just... What's that? Stone. If we just nip down there... It's a real seagull and it's alive. We've got a nice metal spear. We finally sorted out our pathway a bit. I tried to lower it as much as I could when I got down to the bottom here. I just couldn't seem to. It ended up a bit into the ground too much. The only other way would be to lower it from here and then try and work back myself up the way. I don't know how that would be. It could could possibly work, more feathers, good. Um, but then it's going to knock, it's no saying that this is going to be connected. So, we've got this at the moment. And yeah, we've made a lot more spikes, it's just the wooden ones now. And we brought it out a bit. So, I had the idea of actually having my, my gates, like once I square this off and stuff maybe having my gates up the top here and then have my fortifications down in front having the ramps, yeah the ramps might be exposed but um, I, I, I don't quite know, I haven't figured that bit out yet but we are working on it so we've got plenty, we had to make a load more spike walls, which was an absolute nightmare. Um, yeah, so we've got some ramps in. So it means we've got a plan, we can build off the sides, we can fill this area in and so on and so on. Which is what we're looking to do, maybe. And then we're going to have off like sort of pathways but we will thicken these up a bit so this will end up being a double coming up here so basically we'll build the same again 
um, so we'll double that up, so that's middle, maybe triplet of this middle one a different colour, different textures, uh, the stone or something like that, something different just so it stands out, similar pathways, and we'll branch off to all the areas that we want to get to. Right, frog, give me up. Thank you. There's my frog. Um, just looking for some food now. Actually not too bad with food at the moment, but I could actually just leave this in my inventory and let it spoil. I think I'll do that. Put these feathers away, but um, yeah, but this pathway at the moment we are looking at that I'm trying to think. Um, yeah, because we need storage, so we're going to be wanting to lay down like um, some sort of like a storage unit sort of thing, so we can have loads of storage, because we're going to need loads of storage, and eventually we'll have. our NPC filling up things and helping us out, lighting and load a bit. As you can see we are, we are still, everything's still just a mess. Plus, food wise we want to be getting some food. I'm wondering, I wonder if we could put, take away the wall, create a a storage place over here I think for like all our general items like electronics and things like that I think we could do something like that um, so what would that be that would be that wall there wouldn't it keep the window just put a wee path and I'll figure something out from between so we're just going to map out some more um, just for the time being and then it will let me see like it was sort of I know we can create the the NPC stuff but it's pretty pointless at the moment because we don't have an NPC to run them me, yes, we can do that, that and that. Right, I think maybe too high would be good, and that should give us adequate storage for like all our wee bits and pieces that we're going to get. Cause as, as you see, the boxes are a couple of boxes down, they're jam packed already. We will be hitting a lot more towns and getting some, some more. Blueprints and things like that. Um, placeables. Storage. Give me an RE. Plank. Stick stand. Alright. Uh, straighten that one up. Um, do that makes a little one. It's quite cool. Right. That's fine. Because I've got a habit of see just stones and everything just run about. Collecting stones and that as well. Saves my tools a wee bit when the stuff just keep gra grabbing frogs. So the more that can spoil the reason why I'm wanting some to spoil is because I'm made biofuel. With the biofuel then I can run certain pieces of equipment, like the grinder, pretty sure it's the grinder runs in biofuel. Um, if we just have a look at this one here, we need tech points, we've got one tech points, but this will keep my tool sharp, that means I won't need to keep remaking them. 
but we do need mechanical parts, six of them, which we do get some from when we hit towns. And yes, I do apologize, folks, it is dark. I'm going to just go, whoa, piggy, go, don't even think about it. I want that pumpkin. I haven't got a butcher's table with that yet. Um, I haven't got the butcher's table done yet. That is an important one as well uh, for getting skins, leather hide for clothes, bones for for arrows and different bits and pieces. Which there's so much to get. Oh, go away. Oh, I'll stick you, pig. Um, what is that? It's fish oil. See, I haven't done any fishing in this yet. I don't know how, I know how good that is. Right, um, nothing there, nothing there. Mm. Items there. Right, spoiled food, three of them. So we can make them. Alternative fuel source for the mineral, mineral extractors. So we can use that on the mineral extractors as well as. Um, I think you can use oil as well, which is handy. I think I just powered mine with this because I was getting loads of it, plus I was making loads of it. Uh, it can be made on the workbench, which is a good source for power to begin with. Because you forget about your food and before you know it, you go into your inventory and you've got all these wee black bags and that's your food to spoil. I do want to check for gasoline, mind you. It's a frog. If we do need some more meat, we can cook some of these up. We've got plenty of seeds. We want to make sure we've got, like, sort of every crop going. Every crop. Well, at least one out of every crop, at least. But then we've got the greenhouse for that. I can't remember if we've got to unlock that with tape pages, but I want to kind of um, take a chance. Hopefully, be able to sneak, sneak up here. And see where that gas can is outside the door. There's a guy coming around the back there. That's not good. Well, we've got the steel spear now which is absolutely devastating for them, they don't like that at all. They kind of just crumble now. <laughs> so, keep going that way, yeah, and you walk that way, you walk that way. Keep going. Oh no, that's a big shooty guy, that's the, the ninja guy. <laughs> um. See me having to stab him. I've got a steel spear, so it's. it's... Alright, you aggroed on me for a bit over there. Come on. It's empty. So once that re thing wees, when I go to it, oh, wolf. Um, I don't want to. Oh, come on. Get away, get away. Ow. Gotcha. Um, I haven't got a butcher's table made up, so it's pointless carting a wolf about with me. Is that another? So I heard another wolf coming from me though. Harvest that. I have a cucumber. 
Alright, oh, it's a sheep or a goat over there, along with Mr. Piggy. Right, so the toon hasn't respawned yet, and we've got another town just up there, which we can go and see the trader. Um, we could take a quad up. I think we're going to need to make some boxes, but I uh, really need to start again. If we're going to make this into a storage room, then we need to get the foundations done and start that. Try and get these done as quickly as possible, and and <laughs> there we go. Now it right. Okay, folks. So as you can see, we've got one of these. And there we go, they're all done. So we should put them back in there. We'll take this up here and we'll get our planks. And we'll deal with that after. Um, we do get an abundance of plant fibre for when we're cutting down trees. So two stacks will fill a forge. Which is pretty good. Um, same with the bark chippings. You got a load of them, so... As you see, we're, we're get really stocking up feathers now. Um, this is why I need the storage area sorted. Because we've got all these seeds and stuff like that. We want to get this all organised. Right, so now, as you can see, I can move freely again. That's just because of the weight of the fibre. Which is surprisingly heavy for a wee drop of stuff. There we go. Right. That's it. Right. So as you see, it does take quite a lot of trees and stumps and planks. So it's it's basically an ongoing process from one bit to the next. Well, there we go. We used our planks, but we still got near enough half of the storage before we even put a wall or a door on or anything. Like that so yeah so as you see the storage you get the two wee triangles at the back so basically um, that's just for I don't want to go too far in case I can't place the walls I know I can move these I'm trying to just line them up I think I don't know if this is straight or not. Let's see, this will just get me started anyway, or give me plenty of. And then we'll be able to move these about anyway when they're full. So we'll be able to adjust them if they are in the right places and stuff like this. And it's only planks for these ones, so unlike the other racks, eh, uh, like the cupboards, the ingot storage, it's nails as well, so these are only, these are cheaper. Plus, if, once you go into them, you can name all these ones, so we can, might not need a second floor actually, um, Looking at that side, that side, we can do a couple of racks down the middle. I heard a frog. He's hiding somewhere. There he is. 
as I say, not really bothering about the meat side of things. You know, I can capture a few frogs, cook them off, and that's my meat full again. So these ones I want to spoil for that like bio liquid fuel thing because I definitely think we're going for the grinder. We're going to go for the grinder, and there is our mechanical parts. We've got four of them. We only need two more. We should be able to pick up another two up at the town when we go up looking for the trailer plus we may get another two tech thing we take prints but really at the moment we're we're a wee bit uh, uh, disadvantage without having the trailer it would have been nice if it was at that village over there like it was the last time when I was playing this as a one of tester. Um, it would have been nice to have the trailer just over there, but yeah. So, we've got that box, we've got our inventory. Um, we'll head up to the, the trader town and we'll have a look. I'll finish off, I'll probably do this bit of pathway as well and do the walls, fully get the boxes ready, it's only planks, so I could start that now, but yeah, our next part is getting sorted, I the sun's going down, right, so I'm going to leave you to that folks, I hope you are enjoying the series, I hope you are enjoying the videos, um, I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to keep as much air for you as I can, and yeah, yeah, if you, if you are enjoying the stuff, hit that thumbs up, it does channel wonders, and it gives me the inspiration to keep going, so yeah, uh, if, and if you're not yet subscribed, a wee subscription is most welcome and totally appreciated. Also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any episodes, any upcoming footage, shenanigans, anything miss apps like that. And leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I do reply to all my comments. It'd be great to hear from you. So take care. Stay safe. We'll catch you in the next one.